Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm down here in Berkeley with Therese. Hi. I came down and did the, the 61st annual Berkeley Hills road race yesterday. And uh, now we're out taking the loon for a quick hike in the Berkeley Hills. So today, I wanted to answer at least one of my viewers' comments, which is, what does Therese carry in her bag? So Therese, you just finished your 600K and somebody in the comments section asked, what do you keep in your handlebar bag for long randoneering rides? Oh, well, thank you for asking. I keep a, a pouch that has my tools and it has a multi-tool, a patch kit, a chain links, and extra cables. I have uh, my bike food, which can include shot blocks, um, gels, uh, maybe a small loaf of bread, uh, a piece of fruit, and if it's going to be a, a long, cold, uh, there's a possibility of it being cold, um, and if I'm riding into the night, I'm going to keep some extra layers, which can include a windbreaker and a long wool jersey, and in my little two little pockets, I keep my extra tubes, and that, I believe, is about it. So, trees. When you first started getting into randoneering, did you ever, was there stuff that you used to bring that you decided you just didn't really need and it was just extra weight? I had a tendency to underpack. Um, oftentimes I didn't bring quite as much food as I needed and maybe not um, the extra layer that I needed to keep me warm through the night. Who is this guy, Therese? This is his mother um, of, mother of the, <laughs> mother of the uh, bag. Mother of recycling. Yes. This is, I would like to introduce you to mother of recycling. It's appropriate for Mother's Day, right? Uh, exactly. These sculptures were originally like, they were, what's it called, grassroots kind of thing. This park where uh, like some punks that lived around here would just start building these things and they were randomly throughout the park and it was kind of, and apparently the city of Albany maybe decided to take over and make it into an actual sculpture garden. And so it's a sculpture that. garden? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. This is a sculpture garden. Let's go take a look. Let's go tour day sculpture garden.
Knott's Berry Farm, we're like... Beautiful trees. <laughs> So has there ever been anything that you forgot on a long randoneering ride that you wish you would have remembered to bring with you? The only thing that I ever, I guess, wouldn't say forget, but the, um, is food. When I'm deciding whether or not to bring that extra little bit of food, for some reason I uh, tend to decide against it, but I always wish that I had packed it. That extra couple bars or extra couple gels. There have been points where I'm like, man, I really wish I had that extra bar or extra apple right now. Do you bring all the food that you're gonna plan for the whole ride with you? Or do you carry other food with you? Or do you buy food along the way? Um, I buy food along the way. What I've learned is that um, I cons the, the food that I put in my handlebar bag, I try to think of it as just my extra food, my fallback food. I try not to eat it unless until that point where I'm kind of out of food and then I, then I dig into it. Have you ever overpacked things that you thought, my, why did I bring this? I really don't need it. Um, there have been times where I put an extra layer in there that I didn't need, but um, I don't really regret it because it's wor it's to me it's uh, worth it just um, having it there in case you need it. And I think that wraps it up. Cool. Thanks. It's not much, but there's one little cookie for each of us. Do you want me to just bring it with us, or do you want it now? Let's eat it. Okay. 